back again with secrets of a cognizant entrepreneur. Come check it out. world it's me again Anthony Vaughn of Cognizance Capital and uh, the biggest secret that I kind of want to share with you guys today um, it, this isn't the first time this topic has been touched on or talked about I'm not the first entrepreneur to talk about it but it's something that I want to go a little bit deeper into something I want to rant a little bit about and that is is entrepreneurship a sport or a talent or a true ability and are you kind of born with it or is it something that you can learn or can be taught? Or So I'm going to kind of touch on that space for a moment. So you guys may understand who Gary Vaynerchuk is. And he talks a lot about this. So if you guys don't know, go ahead and check him out. Gary Vaynerchuk, great guy, built a wine business, doing some different social media things, but a great um Built a great big business, VaynerMedia, a $100 million company, working with some huge Fortune 500 companies and a real inspiration to me. But um, again, I want to touch a little bit behind the, the, the methodology, the mindset, the paradigm that entrepreneurship is truly a skill or a talent and how to really understand it and look at it like it's a sport. So again, bottom line, whether you're a real estate agent, a plumber, uh, a, a freelance artist in the, in the graphic design space, if you're a social media community manager, whether you're a network marketer, whether you're a consultant like myself and run an agency, no matter what it is, you, bottom line, everybody in the marketplace, everybody that's a consultant, everybody that's a network marketer, everybody is your competition. And so that's the thing. I mean, it's, it's a competitive sport. It's one of the most amazing, lucrative, most competitive sports that I know, right? I mean, I played football for many years and I loved it. But one thing that Gary talks about is at some point your football career will end. This career, this opportunity as an entrepreneur ends at like 80, 90, when your heart literally stops beating. That's when it ends. So I think that's just a very interesting perspective that he showed and one of the secrets of an entrepreneur that I think more people need to talk about. Now, also, listen, it's a talent, in my opinion, meaning any talent can be learned, right? So Michael Jordan wasn't always Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan didn't always understand how to dunk a basketball. People don't understand that. He learned how to dunk a basketball. He worked on his strength. He worked on his calves. He worked on his ability to jump. He wasn't always able to put the ball between his legs at a rapid pace and step back and shoot the fadeaway. He didn't always know how to do that. He understood the concept, the context of it, and learned and practiced and developed the talent Okay, now, of course, there's a little bit of natural ability with LeBron and Kobe and Michael and all these other guys that are dominating. But at the end of the day, they still have a talent. They still have to work on that talent, work on that craft and develop that skill set. So if you're an entrepreneur and if you're a competitive guy or a competitive girl, you need to look at the area of business. One of the biggest secrets is looking at it like it's a skill looking at it like it's a craft, looking at it like it's a sport. Public speaking, marketing, sales, research, communication, culture, leadership. You can be good, you can be all right, you can be decent, you can be great. I mean, think about all the different variables that you can put into culture, leadership, um, you know, human development, uh, uh, talents, and all these different variables that you have to think about when it comes to being an entrepreneur. So again, not everybody's going to kill it, right? Like, I may not kill it. My peak may be 50 million, right? My peak may be 40 million. You know, Sally's over there. Her peak may be 180 million. It's different levels to this shit, Meek Mill, right? Like, there's different levels. So, we all need to understand where we are. We need to understand our true core innate abilities that we were all born with. Thank, thankfully to our mom or our dad or our grandfather, whoever raised us from the time we were born till about five, six or seven, where some of those natural core skills and development tactics were kind of innately brought inside of us, right? So we need to take those and expand upon them and turn them into a sure, pure, proof talent. And that's the key to entrepreneurship that I don't think a lot of people are talking about enough. You have to develop the skill. You have to develop the craft. 
You have to develop the consistency. You have to develop the hustle. You have to develop the drive. You have to figure out your paradigm. You have to shift your perspective. You have to do the things. You have to put in the work and the time in order to be successful. So again, it's so, you know, dry statement and flat statement and so motivational. And some of you guys may not truly appreciate what I'm trying to say. But bottom line, if you're going to win to any degree or give yourself a fighting chance to win, your best bet is to analyze the world of business like a sport. Analyze the world of business like it's the most competitive area in the world, which it is. And you need to take your time, be patient, but also have competent, massive action and take your core skills. Take that core skill of public speaking. Take that core skill of communicating. Take that core skill of truly giving a shit because you saw your mom give a shit for so many years and she used to get shit on, but you won't let that happen because you give a shit, but you know you're going to get yours on the back end. Taking that core skill of your dad working 80 hours a week, 90 hours a week, being a plumber or being a landscaper or, or, or being a, a carpenter, whatever the case may be, and now 80 hours a week, 120 hours a week is nothing for you. Taking that core skill and expanding it and being better than everybody else. Bottom line, that should be your focus. That should be your target. Now, some of you may say, I don't want to have $100 million. I don't want to have an $85 million business. Listen, listen closely now. Let me get a little bit closer to the camera. That's not the point. The point is the way you have to analyze it. The point is the way you have to look at it because you don't want to bet on being an anomaly, meaning an Instagram, a Facebook, a Twitter, a Snapchat. You don't want to bet on just getting lucky. You want to bet on consistency. You want to bet on your core strength talent. You want to bet on the other 100,000, 200,000, a million entrepreneurs that have built sustainable businesses, that have bought their moms and dads yachts and boats and jets and, and done all those amazing things. You want to bet on that because what they showed was consistency, hustle, pure talent, looking at it like it's a sport, having that aggression, being angry, right? Like you guys got to dominate the market, but also be nice, be respectful, but you have to dominate. Do that. That's not an anomaly. That is consistency. That's what you have to do. An anomaly is over here. An anomaly is Facebook. An anomaly is Instagram. An anomaly is you get lucky one out of maybe 85 million times. I want to break it down to maybe one out of 100,000 or one out of 100 or one out of 50. I want to put in the time, put in the work, take my core skill of communication, take my core skill of speaking, take my core skill of whatever it's going to be and expand upon it and do my due diligence. Do what the fuck I'm supposed to do and try to turn it into the best freaking talent on the face of the earth, of the planet, of this entire generation, this galaxy, whatever you want to put it in the context of, I have to dominate for me, not for my mom, not for my girl, for me. Because anyone knows anything about science and the brain and the way things work, you need to do what's best for you. That's the way your brain works. You want to talk about inspiration? You will drive from a place of you, of selfish need, of wants, of desires. You need to figure out what that want, what that need, what that driver is inside of you. Ask your grandpa, ask your mom, ask your brother. Ask who you need to ask to have some of that self-awareness. But once you find it, once you grab onto it, once you can really have that intensity and look at this area of business like it's a sport, that's when you'll give your chance a, 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 a true ability. That's when you give yourself a true chance of dominating the marketplace like you guys know you should and like you know you have the ability to. So, let me back up now. This world of business is amazing. Give yourself a fighting chance. That's the secret. Do not try to be an anomaly. Understand that it is a skill Someone can be a 100, someone can be a 72, somebody can be an 80, somebody can be a zero, somebody can be a 34. Understand that you're just because you're 18 years old and you heard about network marketing or you heard about real estate or you heard about consulting, you can just jump in there and do it. No, sir, no, Bob, no, you know, uh, Bernice or whatever the hell your name is, no. You need to sit back for a second, have some patience, read a freaking book, meditate, zen it out, do whatever you got to do, but have some cognizance and really understand what your core strengths are and turn them into talents. Let's get it.